Hello, I'm Ling Jiapeng from Fudan University. It's a great pleasure to present our work, withdrawing a believing detecting consistencies between withdrawal choice and third-party data collection in mobile apps. This paper is a joint work of Fudan University and Johns Hopkins University. Recently, popular privacy regulations often allow consumers to withdraw their provided personal information. For example, GDPR introduced the right to object to allow consumers to withdraw the business processing of their privacy. Similarly, CCPA introduced the consumer's right to opt out of the sale or sharing of personal information, asserting consumers' ability to request business not to sell or share their personal information at any time. The violation of these regulations may result in serious user privacy leakage. And the current research is meaning focus on two aspects, the general inconsistencies on websites and privacy latest detection of mobile applications. Unfortunately, the formal primary measures the general inconsistencies on websites, rendering existing methods inadequate for extracting complex withdrawal choice and privacy data from mobile apps. The latter mainly examines the correlation between users' consent and the actual privacy behaviors of mobile apps. However, this research segment initially lacked any study related to withdrawal options, that falling to understanding the withdrawal options and the withdrawal behaviors. We found that there is still a missed yet significant problem of detecting mobile withdrawal inconsistencies. Mobile apps usually employ third-party libraries to collect and analyze privacy, and the withdrawals are always related to those libraries. While well, some easy, those withdrawals are always complex. For example, user initiated withdrawal requests through UI interface, app usage analytics, implies the expected withdrawal of all third-party privacy collection and the app correctly withdraws the privacy collection in handling external partners and resize its tracking parameters methods. However, there is a collection with no control in the Firebase Event Logger Execute method, resulting in a privacy leakage, and we named it Unguarded Collection. Meaning reason is that users always request the withdrawal of all privacy collected by third-party services. However, in mobile apps, there may be some collections missed, leading to the inconsistencies between the expected and the actual withdrawal behaviors. Next, we research the withdrawals corresponding to those third-party data collections. The fourth type of withdrawal is to invoke predefined withdrawal APIs to stop their privacy collection. For example, invoking SDK1 to withdrawal can stop all privacy collection of SDK1. And we named it host uncorporated withdrawal. The second is to set the guardian conditions for privacy collection to block such a collection. Such as the guardian condition variable is used to block the data collection of SDK2. That is host cooperated withdrawal. And then we propose a static analysis tool named MoChecker to detect such inconsistencies. MoChecker consists of three phases. The fourth phase identifies the widgets with withdrawal semantics from the layout fields. And then the second phase detects the privacy collection data flows in both app and third-party libraries. Finally, the inconsistency check phase analyzes the inconsistencies with a multiple source bidirectional data analyzer and a consistency checker. We will introduce the core idea of each phase in the following. In the identifying withdrawal interfaces phase, the challenge here is how to identify the complex but diverse withdrawal interfaces. Fortunately, we observed two key features of those interfaces. Firstly, mobile withdrawal interfaces are really stateful UI widgets, allow users to switch their withdrawal choice, such as the checkbox and the switch preference in shown cases. Secondly, withdrawal interfaces always contain certain data collection or sharing phrases. For example, the phrases of the disk closure of your personal information and uh, share this data with third parties. 
So based on the observations, we proposed uh, two approaches to detect pictorial interfaces. Firstly, we collect a list of tailed stateful UI widgets from Android document. A mode checker will search for such widgets in resource fields as candidates. Subsequently, we manually summarize three grammatical patterns for the plural semantic. Mode checker will identify candidates that conform to these grammars, for example, send my personal information to advertisers. Due to the time limit, we won't go into the detail about the implementation. Next, in second phase, we employ a semi-automatic approach to extract all data collection APIs from the Javadoc of third-party libraries. And then we manually generate the API identifiers to record the collection types. Subsequently, with reference to existing techniques such as the flowjoint, uh, I will talk detect all privacy data collection data flow uh, in both app and the uh, third party libraries. And please check out paper for further technical details. The final phase of mode checker is checking with drawing inconsistency. Our motivating example shows the overall workflow. In general, mode checker forms detect the correlated data flow and control flow of your averages. That is the data flow of the, of the general APIs such as the working of this eyeball analytics method in light. And the control flow is grounded privacy data flow. That is the guarded invocation of log given in line 15. Then it checks the uh, consistency between actual withdrawal behaviors and expected withdrawn data extracted from the UI widgets. Until more checker matches the expected data such as the usage data and user identifier and the actually withdrawn data that is the usage data. Finally, it finds the inconsistent withdrawal of user identifier. This space contains two types. The first is flow to choice correlation analyzer based on multi-source bidirectional data analysis. In this step, more checker extracts the correlation between the withdrawal interfaces and the withdrawal behaviors. And the second one is intention to behavior checker based on matching data identity of semantics and data flow. Firstly, we detect the withdrawals based on guarding conditions. Let's start with our example. Uh, initially, we locate the initial field controlled by the withdrawal choice by analyzing the callback of widgets. This, that is the opt-in status field in line 4. Then a forward data flow analysis can automatically track the track flight variable in line 9. Eventually, it controls the privacy the collection in line 10. However, some withdrawal fields cannot be directly found. In detail, we found that some of them will be used to control the option status. And we named them catch the field such as the catch opt-in field in line 17. We can detect the relevant withdrawals through a backward analysis, for example, the backward data flow to the guarding condition status in line 30. In detail, the initial fields are controlled by the checked state from withdrawal options, and the catch field controls that state. Firstly, mode checker bidirectionally identifies all withdrawal fields. It identifies the path from the withdrawal options to storage and marks all tainted value as withdrawal fields. Then, more checker records the privacy data flows guarded by the withdrawal fields as the withdrawal behaviors. In addition to guarding condition based withdrawal, we also identify a withdrawal directly invokes the third party APIs. By tracking the data flow dependencies, they can locate the correlated data flow of third-party withdrawal APIs. Mode checker employs a similar forward data analyzer for such detection, so we won't delve into the technique specifics of these processes. Finally, mode checker checks the inconsistencies between the withdrawal intentions and behaviors by matching the semantics and behaviors. A challenge here is how to match the cross green statements with the fine green data flows. We solve this challenge by a data ontology map, 
using eyeballs they detecting consistency between them and the actual withdrawals. For example, more checker maps the personal data to location advertise IDs and the usage data. The more checker matches this with the actually withdrawn location, thereby identifying the inconsistencies of usage data and advertising IDs. Subsequently, we conduct a large scope process severity evaluation of withdrawal consistencies. In January 2023, we crawled two batches of data set of Google Play. Firstly, we obtained the top 500 apps from each category in both the United States and Germany, resulting in a high-profile data set consisting of 22,725 apps. Then, we randomly crawled 50,000 apps that were not duplicated to form the long-tail data set. To evaluate more checkers' effectiveness, we randomly sampled 100 withdrawal options, and we manually verified for their inconsistencies as the ground tools. This site contains 32 inconsistent options and 15 undecidable options. Overall, more checker achieves an accuracy of 82.86% and a record rate of 90.63%. Specifically, more checker identifies 35 withdrawal inconsistencies and 29 of them are true positives. Next, we evaluate the runtime performance of more checker. Overall, the analysis time per application ranged from the 17 seconds to 44 minutes, with an average of 286 seconds and medium of 178 uh, seconds. Among three phases, the privacy data flow detection and the inconsistency checking models cost them more time for their time consuming data flow analysis. Finally, we conduct a statistical analysis on the withdrawal inconsistencies. Regarding the overall distribution, we found that 39.48% apps with withdrawal options are inconsistent. Specifically, 50.5% apps in the hyperfilled site have consistent withdrawals, while 31.65% apps contain the uh, inconsistencies in the long tail ones. Next, withdrawal options may involve multiple third party libraries, so we conduct a relevant analysis. Uh, we found that over 75% of withdrawal options involve fewer than three third party libraries. Additionally, more than 50% of withdrawals are totally deceptive, and on average, each withdrawal option fall to correctly withdraw from 1.3 third party libraries. We found that these options usually use in confusing descriptions. Uh, such as an easy do not sell my personal information. Consequently, options fall to withdraw the third party data collections as expected. We also analyze the affected privacy data and third party libraries. The research shows that the most affected privacy data type is user data, accounting for 19.9%, as it mainly can be used to track user behaviors and preferences such as gender, political beliefs, and user interactions. And we discovered that withdrawal inconsistencies primarily involve the third-party libraries of analytics libraries, such as Fairbrook Analytics, and advertising libraries such as Inmobi, respectively accounting for 26.4% and 19%. In summary, withdrawal inconsistencies makes the third-party libraries process user process without user causes, and then result in the ungrounded collections of third-party libraries, potentially violating relevant privacy regulations. In conclusion, in this paper, we conduct a full systematic study on withdrawal inconsistency problem in mobile ecosystems and then we designed the mode checker to automatically detect such inconsistencies.
and based on Mochecker, we thoroughly studied the real world with drawing consistencies and notified affected developments. Oh, that's all. Thanks.